Oh, it's kind of crooked. Hey, hi, um, I'm back. I'm gonna be going home today because it's the Stanley Cup party, so that'll make for some cool stuff. But in the meantime, I'm cutting up this box so I can send uh, this piece of pottery to my friend. That's probably enough packing for just this. These are the other pieces. Uh, actually, I put one to use. I put I put one over here in the kitchen already, and then the other one's in that box. So here's the one in the kitchen. Ooh, pretty! Look at that! Yay! Yeah, I'm gonna hurry. I gotta get that box in the mail, and then I gotta go to class, and then I gotta get on the road and go home. So let's do that. Okay, back from class. Time to get this box in the mail, and then hit the road and head home. Package is in the mail, bag is packed, I'm ready to go, and yeah, I did I did change shirts, but that's only because I had to look a little more formal than a t-shirt for class, but we're good now, ready to hit the road. Let's go. She's a good girl, loves her mom, loves Jesus, and they're good too. She's a good girl, crazy about else, loves horses, and a boyfriend too, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I, I came in and saw the cup already like 20 minutes ago, but I left my f camera in the car, so I went back and grabbed it, and now we'll go take a look together. It's a long day, and it will see there's a freeway. picture and uh, and live with her for a while because we're going to get another one. <laughs> <laughs> So how long have you been doing this? I've been working for the Hockey Hall of Fame for 22 years. Uh, I've had the fortune of traveling with the Cup for the last 18 years. 
and what it, what's your best memory of these uh, kinds of events? You know, the, the best memory, honestly, is watching everybody get to enjoy it. Sitting back, being a fly on the wall, keeping an eye on things, but watching, like, for example, you guys with Tony and, uh, you know, just seeing the enjoyment that you guys get out of it, watching you guys all have a sip, which is a rare thing to do. I mean, uh, you know, a lot of people have done it, but in the grand scheme of things, probably less than 1% of the hockey fans in the world have actually got to sip out of the cup. That's pretty, so that's pretty amazing yeah. right there. And, you know, you know, the other part is uh, traveling around the world, uh, seeing different cultures and how they celebrate the win of the Stanley Cup, whether it's in Russia, Sweden, Finland, the Czech Republic. And that, that, you know, that's always really cool to do, uh, sit back and witness and be a part of. So how long are you traveling with it? Do you get a break? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm actually going home after the White House on Tuesday night. So I'll get a week off before I go back on the road again. All right. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> So that's it, it's 7.54 now in the morning and I'm headed home. A whirlwind tour, all for the Stanley Cup. Definitely worth it, I'm holding hot coffee right on my chest, it's really hot. I don't know if I ever mentioned this. I got new sunglasses.